contributor at DirtyShirt.info. The project this morning is going to be to replace the water pump on a 97 uh, 20-foot Larson boat. Uh, it has a 5.7 liter Volvo Penta engine in it. The symptoms are is that uh, after a day of usage, the bilge is filling up with water. Uh, there's no other apparent source for that water. Uh, it is rusty, but it is not oily. And when I say filling up the bilge, it's probably got about four gallons after a full day's of use. Uh, what we've determined is, is that when we watch the engine run in the, in the actual engine compartment, we don't see a problem. We don't see water in, entering, but if you stare at it long enough, there'll be a little bit of water that dumps out of what we believe is the water pump. Uh, water pump um, diagnostics are a little bit sketchy, but I'll tell you how I've always done it. If water is coming from the front center of the engine and I can't really identify it as a hose, uh, generally speaking, it's going to be the water pump, either where it connects to the engine or it's going to be in a weep hole that is actually built into the water pump. And I'll show you where that's at. Uh, it's often difficult to see. So if the water pump is on the front of the engine like this, the weep hole is gonna be right underneath here, okay? And that's typically where it'll start to start to leak from. And as I said, it's intermittent in this case. So today we are going to replace this pump on this engine. We have to deal with a couple of things before we can actually get to the pump. Uh, one of them is, is that the alternator has a belt that goes around the pulley that is connected to the pump. The other one is, is that there is a belt going to the power steering and it shares the same pulley that's in front of the pump. So we're gonna have to loosen these up, take the belts off, then we can get to the pulley. In order to break the nuts loose on the pulley, you have to leave one belt in place to hold the pulley still. So we've opted to leave the alternator belt installed so we can just break the nuts loose, then we'll remove the belt, then we'll remove the pulley. Perfect. Power steering has two brackets on it that need that have sliders on them. One is right here, the other one is down below. So those have to be loosened up first. Then we'll take the belt off. Then after the belt is off, we're gonna have to remove the whole bracket because it is sharing a bolt that actually holds the pump in. There's a third belt uh, down below, and what we're gonna do is we don't actually have to take that off in order to do the work. So the two belts that go to the alternator and the power steering, we just sort of laid them down here, but they are hooked around that third belt. We're just gonna leave it lay. Pulley ready to come off? Yeah. Ready? No. Uh-oh, she's on tight. Pulley is fused onto the center post of the water pump. So it takes a little, we can see some rust. We can also see it moving. So you just gotta kinda work this out, thing out until it's ready to pop off. Don't give it too much pressure, you'll bend the pulley. There's one large coolant hose that goes to the bottom of the pump and Evan is pulling the clamp off right now. All right, four bolts are taken out uh, along with the studs that hold the pump on. We're getting ready to loosen the pump up. It took a little bit of prying power, but it's ready to come. Nice, look at the bottom of that thing, all rusty. Yeah. Huh, makes you wonder where the uh, where the actual leak actually was. Cool. Got it all cleaned up? Signs up like a new kit. All right, Evan is in the process of putting the gasket sealer on. That's what the instructions call for in this application. I always put the sealer on the part, not on the engine. And then after he applies that to both sides, the gaskets go on. Then we put two bolts, one on each side on the upper side, and then we'll fit this to the engine. Okay. This guy's like 
this. Okay, four bolts are, have been started and are now being tightened in an X pattern from side to side on the pump. So getting the pulley on is a bit of a challenge. The way to do it is to start with two bolts, work those in until they start, then add the next two bolts, and then start to drive it down as far as you can, at least it's gonna be finger tight, um, until you get the belts on, then you can do the final tightening. Evan's putting the power steering back on. We have all of the brackets lined up with their studs and the nuts have been replaced actually four of them on the power steering. So now we're just gonna kinda finger tight them and then we'll get the uh, belt run and then tighten the belts up. <clears throat> All right, belts are tight. We've run water to it. So we're gonna do a little test start here and make sure everything is all right. All right, let her go, Evan. All right. We're gonna sit here and we are gonna watch it and see if it leaks and then our, for our final test, we'll take it out to the lake. Okay, we have put it all together. We're out on the lake. We've been running it for about 20 minutes. It's up to operating temperature. The bilge is bone dry. Thanks for watching.